What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with more tech, more reviews. Now, you know what this device is. This is my iPad, Magic Keyboards, etc., etc. It's a great device. I paid a lot of money for it, okay. With that being said, this is the flagship of flagships, top of the line, and you may be saying, why do I have this out here right now? But what I want you guys to know is that everyone in the world is not going out and buying these types of devices. Yes, this device is nice, it's cool to have, it's great with productivity, it's great with entertainment, but contrary to popular belief, this is not the only tablet in the world for people. Everybody's not gonna get this thing. So let's talk about this one. This is the Vankyo Matrix Pad S30, a 10 inch tablet on a budget. So let's check this thing out. So right out of the box, the Vankyo Matrix Pad S30 is a is a it's a budget tablet. It's a budget-friendly tablet that's going to basically get you everything that you still want and need in a portable device. Now, what you're gonna get in the box is the actual device itself. You're gonna get the USB cable. Now, this charges through USB type C. You're gonna get your power adapter, you're gonna get your user guide, and your quick start guide. That's everything that comes in the box standard. This device right here is coming at you with Android 9.0, uh, three gigs of RAM, 32 gigabytes of onboard storage. It has a 13 megapixel rear camera, has an IPS display, full HD, Bluetooth 5.0, 5G Wi-Fi, GPS, you name it, this thing pretty much has it. And it, it it's basically the tablet that you're going to get for that person who does not need the powerhouse of powerhouses. Now, even though this is a budget tablet, what else do we want to know about it? First things first, you're gonna wanna know the price of this. This thing is gonna run you about 170 bucks. So you get a full tablet for 170 bucks, it's gonna do everything. If you look at it, it's it's actually stunning. Like the screen is actually good. It doesn't go to the edges like some other screens that we've seen, but it's still a decent size screen. Now the layout of this is strictly Android. You just swipe up. There's no overlay of anybody else's hardware, software. It's strictly Android. You got speakers down bottom. These are down firing and that's all that you get. Right here up top is your power button, your volume rocker, and you actually get a dedicated uh, microphone system right there. This is your memory card slot right over here, USB type C charging port, and then you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter right there. Then on the back, there's that camera and you get your Vankio logo as we talked about earlier. So 10.1 inches, octa-core processor, it, it, it's gonna give you decent speeds when you're playing video games when you're um, listening to music when you're watching youtube videos things of that nature it's going to deliver all the way around now we we mentioned the screen and the memory and you can actually put a expandable memory card up to like 128 gigabytes in here so 32 on board 128 extra you got tons of storage tons of space but the main thing i really appreciated about this was the battery life you got 6,000 milliamp hours, you got eight hours of viewing, 12 hours of browsing, or 16 hours of reading. So nobody's actually standing there with a tablet there in front of their face for that amount of time. So you got plenty of time all day, every day. If you notice in the actual settings, when looking in them, you actually have different modes. So you have an eye comfort mode and a reading mode that's gonna basically spare your eyes the glare and the actual brightness when you're doing those heavy projects. And speaking of projects, when you actually want to get productive with this thing, you can at any time. It has Bluetooth 5.0, so just about any device that has Bluetooth connectivity, you can pop it out, got your keyboard, you start typing, you open up Google Docs, you can be productive on the go, as well as still keep your entertainment intact. 
So one of the things I like to do when I'm on the go is just basically check up on some of my videos to see how the progress is doing. And what I like about this is it, it's clear. It's crystal clear. Um, we get some sound. Xbox, guys, I own the PlayStation, PS4, not a matter of fact. But now, the sound control, is a little man, lacking. Man, you got the downfiring speakers, but and they're not that loud, but they get the point across. Like I said, this is a budget device, but you can still hear this, and you still have the ability to hook up this 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter. So that is no big deal with that sound. It still gets a big thumbs up from me because like I said, for the $169 price point, this is a decent piece of equipment. Now also when I'm on the go, I like to just play some video games. Um, now this is where this device actually outshines the iPad. And I'll tell you why. So there's an app that I always love to download on any of my Android devices. It's called Happy Chick. I'm sure some of you guys have heard of Happy Chick, but basically it's an old school emulator that allows you to go in and get all these different games and play them on the go. So I was downloading some games earlier today and iPad cannot do this. This is like I said, this is why this system outshines iPad. You get an old school arcade machine right here in the palm of your hands. And you can download any of these games that you would like to anytime and you'll have them right here on the go. And you can even connect controllers. So you got controllers, you got old school arcade game. That's basically anything that you would need for anybody that was basically born in the arcade era. Um, we know about that. And then you can even download tons of games, movies, videos from the Google Play Store. So this is no comparison by, by far. It's no comparison to the iPad. We're not doing that. What I'm basically telling you is that everyone is not going out and buying an iPad. Everybody doesn't want to spend that type of money and everybody's not doing the exact same type of thing. And that's where a device like this actually shines. You get the all Android uh, ecosystem. There's no bloatware. You can get tons of games on here. You can get video. You can get YouTube. You can surf on the internet. You have connectivity of your third party devices such as your Bluetooth keyboards for productivity. What more can you ask for? This is a great tablet on a budget. So this is the Matrix Pad S30. One of the best tablets I've seen on a budget. The screen is super bright, super amazing. The speakers could have been a little bit better, but I'm not knocking them. It still has a 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter. That's a big deal because a lot of people still like to plug in. And the gaming experience, the entertainment experience, and the productivity experience are all a big thumbs up in my book. It's gonna do everything that you need it to do and then a little bit more. And then you got plenty of onboard storage as well as expandable memory. So I'll drop a link below so you can check this out for yourself. Hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me a big thumbs up and please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.